Yeah, okay, let's just start. Um, I'm doing my 2013 skincare favorites, which is also kind of a skincare routine, so not sure of the title of this video yet, but let's begin. Um, one thing that's changed about 2013 is that I kind of switched up my setup before. It was in like an acrylic tray. Um, I now keep my skincare in the fridge just because that's something Todd and I decided we were going to do, and now we do it. So we actually get ready in the kitchen every morning. Um, but yeah, so this is the, kind of the box that I keep in my fridge, and it's like got all... Everything I'm currently using, backups and stuff, I keep in a separate box behind all this stuff. So, yeah. Um, but I'm going to start with cleanser, which I do keep in the bathroom because I need a sink to wash my face. And the cleanser that I've been using, I mentioned recently on the blog that I've not stopped using Bioderma. And you know I love Bioderma more than anything, but I've kind of found something that helps me take off my makeup all in one go. Like, sometimes I'll double cleanse if I'm using, like, a really heavy foundation or have a really heavy eye look going, but um, usually one wash and I'm fine, and you know, as much as I love Bioderma, it is another step, and when I'm really tired, I just want to use the Jorlique, um Balancing Foaming Cleanser. I am in love with this. I heard about this first on Into the Gloss, and um, I'd never really tried Jorlique before, but I needed something foamy. I needed something that kind of like felt like it was getting into my pores and clearing all the dirt out, And but I find that foaming cleansers tend to dry out my skin. This one does not, like if it just feels your skin moving, leaves your skin feeling really smooth, really fresh, and it's just, it's one step. My only gripe about this is that the, um, I don't know if you can tell, I don't know if my camera will focus, but um, all the product kind of gets stuck up in the cap here, and then it occasionally will leak, so it's not great to travel with, but I mean, I wouldn't bring a 200 bill bottle with me traveling anyway. And I'm also trying out a couple of other cleansers. Um, just sample size ones, because I do like to use the Jolique one at night, but in the morning, I find using two foaming cleansers, I don't know, like, especially one that's, like, designed to remove makeup, I find that a little bit harsh, so I usually try to use something a little bit lighter in the morning. Um, I'm testing these two right now. It's the Bioderma Sabium Gel Cleanser. Um, it does foam, but it's a really light foam. Like, it doesn't even... I mean, it may as well not foam. Um, and the Ren... This, I think this is their Micro Polish Cleanser, so it's got a little couple of those little beads in it that kind of, I don't know, scrub away. Um, I'm not crazy for physical exfoliation like that, um, but this one's really fine and so it doesn't feel like it's tearing up my skin or anything. Love those both. Um, occasionally with a cleanser, I will use a muslin cloth. Um, this is an Emma Hardy one. These are okay. I prefer the pie ones, but those are all in the wash right now. Um, these are actually great for removing masks and, and just like really thick, balmy cleansers. But I actually, this is my favorite way to exfoliate them. It is a physical exfoliation, but it's really, you can do it every day. It's so gentle. So really enjoying that, and that's pretty new for 2013. Um, so after I cleanse my face, I will typically use um, Aven Eau Thermale. Um, love this. I've gone through, this is a small bottle. I usually go through the 300 ml bottle like four times a year. I mean, I'm so in love with it. I kind of like this size just because it's much more manageable, it's less daunting, and it can stand up straight in my fridge. Um, I don't know what it is about this, actually. It's just It just makes my skin feel really soft. It's like, it just immediately kind of cancels out the harshness of the tap water, and I really enjoyed that. And then I'll follow up with a couple drops of fresh lemon juice. So I'll just like, typically keep a lemon in my fridge and then just squeeze it into my palm and just press it into my cheeks and like my forehead, sometimes down my neck, but not always. Um, and I just find that kind of keeps acne at bay, it kind of leaves everything feeling really, I don't know, it's like a treatment almost. It just feels really good and it smells great, just like I love anything citrusy and lemony, so that works out really well for me. And then I'll go into a serum. So the serum I'm currently using, I kind of rotate between two. I try to keep one that has a little bit of an exfoliating agent, like glycolic or, or lactic acid, and that for me right now is the Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. This is one of my favorite serums of all time. This is my second bottle already, um, and this one actually goes pretty quickly. I think I can use one up in like three months if I use it every single day. Um, love this though. This is honestly one of my favorite Caudalie finds, not that I dislike anything from Caudalie. Um, really great. And then the other kind of more hydrating serum that I'm currently using is Hydroluron, and this has made its way around the blogosphere like a wildfire. Um, but I know Hydroluron is kind of hard to find if you're in the States or if you're not in the UK. So something that I've been testing that I've, I'm really enjoying actually 
and I think I'll continue to use it after um, the hydrolurone's out, is the Hydrabio Serum from Bioderma. This the difference between this one and Hydroloron, I would say, is that Hydroloron squeezes out like a gel, so it's like a little bit more solid, it's a little thicker. This, when you squeeze it out, is like, I mean, it's like pouring water into your hands. It kind of like hits your palm and then disperses into water like a non-Newtonian fluid. Pretty fantastic, and I, I love it. For days that I need to look really, really matte, so for days that I'm filming, or um, if I just know it's going to be really, I don't know, if I can anticipate that it'll be a really sweaty gross day or if I'm feeling really congested like in my skin I'll use the Institute Esthederm um, Pure System Concentrate so this is um, it's kind of like the Bioderma Pore Refiner and Bioderma is actually the sister company of Institute Esthederm um, it's basically the same product this one might be a little bit more mattifying so if you need kind of a bump up from the Bioderma Pore Refiner check this out that's pretty cool and it lasts forever you need like a pea-sized drop and it will just I don't know it leaves your face feeling like powdery matte. It's... I don't know how they do it. Um, and then after my uh, serums and things, I'll usually go into a moisturizer. So I oh, I just finished another Codaly Beauty Fluid. I love that stuff so much. I have a rave review somewhere on my blog, which I'll link below. Um, but right now I'm testing a couple of other moisturizers. Um, one that's kind of been a nice alternative to the Beauty Fluid is the Caudalie Amino Source. This is a sample size, but um, it's a little more hydrating. It doesn't give you that same sort of silky, soft finish that the Beauty Fluid does, but this is still really nice. Um, it does pack quite a hydrating punch, and for someone who's tip who's got typically oily skin like, like I do, um, it's nice to have something that feels really light, but, but still feels hydrating. Um, and for days... Just, um, I was breaking out for a little while over the holidays um, and just kind of like in the fall, right when the seasons change, my skin get, tends to get kind of weird and I've been using the Neostratus Oil-Free Smoothing Lotion Level 3. So this has, I believe, 8% glycolic? Something something high. Um, it's actually pretty strong. Even for me, I have pretty tough skin, but I can, I can feel a little bit of a sizzle when, when I put it on. And... Um, well, I don't mind that. I kind of like when products like feel like they're working. Um, I know it's not for everyone, so they do also do kind of lower levels of glycolic that I think would be more suited to sensitive or fairer skin than mine, or even just more, even possibly more acne prone. Because I don't suggest using too high a level of glycolic if you got open sores or anything. Um, so yes, this has been really great. Still really hydrating, even though it feels like it's actively exfoliating my skin. And actually, last night I did a little experiment, and I'm really liking it. Um, this is the Caudalie Vine Expert um, Night Cream, Night Infusion Cream. This is really hydrating. It's actually quite emollient, but um, I don't know. It's just like with the heating in my apartment, my skin's been really dry lately, but I also, I don't know, because it's so hot, I think I'm just, I don't know, my pores are going kind of, my skin is just kind of going crazy. So what I did was I layered this on to kind of give it that sort of glycolic boost, and then use this to seal in all the hydration and I woke up with the most like amazing skin like I don't know I didn't want to wash my face it was so good but but I did yeah um, and then after my uh, moisturizer I'll typically put on, put on an eye cream and the one I'm using right now is also by Caudalie um, it's the Vino Source SOS Morning Eye Rescue um, I, my thing about eye creams is that I don't really have too many eye issues, so I can never really tell if they're working, per se. Um, or maybe that in itself is proof that, it, that it's working. But, uh, this is really hydrating, it's really nice, it, um, I don't know if I like it better than my EKM eye cream from Pi, though. I, I reviewed that last year in my, um, skin favorites. I don't know, I'm kind of, I think I like the other one better, but it's way more expensive for the same amount, so just... Or I think even less, so just that's just kind of a personal preference. Um, I do have an eye treatment that I've been enjoying this year that I will do another video about, but uh, stay tuned for that. Um, and to kind of keep any sort of skin issues, because I still do get breakouts, you know, whenever it's like I'm, it's that time of the month, or if it's just if I don't get enough sleep or don't drink enough water, like my skin's pretty sensitive to when I. When, I don't know, when I mess around with my body. So um, I, I'm using currently the Murad Acne Spot Treatment. This is really good. It's a sulfur-based treatment, so it kind of really just, it's really gentle but really effective. And um, kind of just, I, I'll put this on overnight or even during the day because it is clear. And I don't know, I just feel like after two days, it's just everything kind of calms down, the redness disappears, and even like some cystic acne will have shrunk in size, which is really good. But sometimes I need a little one-two punch of something else, so I'll use the Mario Badescu Buffering Lotion. And sometimes I have just areas of acne that just crop up overnight seemingly. And um, 
I'll kind of use this first, shake it up, and then pour it directly onto your hands and just pat it in. Um, that's really kind of a primer almost for this, and then I find using them both together is supremely effective. It's harsh though, so you do really need to kind of take care to hydrate in the morning. Um, and just kind of when you use any sort of exfoliating agent like this, do remember that your skin is a will be a little bit photosensitive, so use SPF. Um, I've been kind of bad, I haven't been using SPF at all this, I don't know, not in this year, I'd say like starting last October I hadn't really been using SPF, it's just because I'm indoors all day and um, kind of like I'll go to work and I'll literally be outside for five minutes between the subway and, and my building, so I, I need that five minutes of sunlight just to kind of, I don't know, absorb the right amount of vitamin D I guess. And when I leave work it's dark out, so <laughs> just, yeah. Um, some fun treatments that I've been using this year. First up, the Antipodes Aura Manuka Honey Mask. This smells so good. It's like honey and citrus and like, I don't know, just good stuff. And it, I don't know, it's one of those masks that feels like it does a little bit of everything. Like it kind of cleanses and hydrates and treats your skin at the same time. So if I don't have time to do like a triple threat mask, you know, where you like, do the clay and then the peeling and the hydrating, I'll just do this and it's amazing. Like it just, I don't know, I'll leave it on overnight and I'll wake up in the morning and it'll just, like my skin will have just soaked it up and it's so good. Um, I don't know, it's just like one of those masks that's just such a pleasure to use and I really like it. And um, this has been kind of my peeling mask of choice lately. It's the Ren Glycolactic um, Radiance Renewal Mask. That actually came in a set with the uh, cleanser that I mentioned before. But um, this is fun. It comes out as like an orange jelly. You put it all over and leave it on for like 10 minutes. I'm one of those people who leaves the masks on for 20 minutes because that's about the average length of a Friends episode. And um, I usually use a cleansing cloth um, to kind of wipe it all off and it just leaves you with sort of really bright, fresh skin. Like it's new skin. It feels like it's just taken off that entire top layer of grossness. And that's been really fun. Sometimes, um, between masks, like as a second step of mask for that peeling portion, I will use a, like, I don't know, they're called gommage. So it's a peel, but it's weird. Like, so it comes out as like a thick white, clear, sheer white gel, and you leave it on, and you leave it on for like 60 seconds. And the idea is that it dries, and then you kind of manually buff it off with dry hands. So I don't even know if I can show you this, but so you take about that much, and then you sort of rub it on and then when it dries it buffs off kind of like it peels off it's weird it's like comes off like little pieces of eraser shavings like it's so weird but every time I use it I honestly feels like I've taken off layer and I just feel so incredibly clean and it feels my skin feels prepped and ready for any kind of treatment I put on afterwards so that's super fun um and then finally my lip balm of choice this year has been um I don't know I mean I'm trying not to open a bunch of them. Um, I'll link a blog post below where I have like literally 12 lip balms open and even you guys were like, I think they go bad, so you should probably stop doing that. Um, but what I've been really enjoying, um, I really enjoyed the Caudalie one. There's a lot of Caudalie in this video. Um, that's okay. But the fresh lip balms, these were the Sephora birthday gift last year. I never got around to using them fully, um, but I do like them. I like the clear one better than the tinted ones just because, ooh. Um, I find the tinted ones, I don't know, I mean, they're not bad, maybe it's just this color that I don't like, but, um, I don't know, I it feels almost like too much of a commitment to lip color to reapply this constantly to kind of get that soft feeling. Um, I do like the Sarah Hap Lip Slip, Todd had that this year, and every time I use it, I've been really happy with it. I also just finished up a NYX Rev de Miel lip balm, and I threw away the pot so I don't have it to show you guys, but, um, yeah, so that's kind of been everything that I've been using the past probably seven or six or so months. Um, yeah, and that's, that's everything. So I will see you guys next time in my next video and let me know if you had any fantastic skincare discoveries of 2013 in the comments. See you next time.